In the last video, we ended up having to take our RV in for some emergency repairs. We got an Airbnb house in Prescott for a couple of days to check out the area. So if you haven't seen that, go back and watch that so you're all caught up. In this video, we finally got our home back. But not without a few hiccups. So we're gonna show you about getting our RV back. Kevin will take you underneath again and show you the repairs, how that all ended up. And now we are boondocking and exploring near Sedona Finally, back in our own rig. Okay, sounds good. I'll see you around five then. Thanks, bye. Well, not quite as early as I was hoping, but uh, at least it's gonna be done today. We should have our house back. It's gonna make it interesting though, cause it's gonna be five o'clock. The trailer has no water gonna be a late night but let's go uh, let's go head out thanks bye so after that phone call we both started thinking five o'clock is a little late to go get the RV because Kevin still has to hitch up reconnect batteries and electrical and all the things that he had to do <laughs> to leave it there repack some things then we have to go get water because the plan is to boondock yeah because we don't have anything booked and no we couldn't we couldn't really find anything either no, last minute yeah. rv parks in arizona in the winter are not easy to come by to have to do all of that and then go find a boondocking spot in the dark at five o'clock well yeah because the sun would go down like an hour later we would probably just be done filling water and stuff by then it's it's not gonna work yeah it's we could do it we're just not feeling it yeah how <laughs> just, much how much suffering do you want to go if you're in the dark right and also you know they might be done with the rv but what if we get to five o'clock and we call them back and say we're headed over and they say oh we didn't finish after all it should be done but you never but know I know right and then <laughs> what so Kevin's going to try to book a different Airbnb closer to the shop for one more night. Let's see if we can get it. At the last minute. At the last minute. <laughs> All right. Fingers crossed. Let's try this to get it. Luck. Okay. So the plan keeps evolving. I was able to book the Airbnb. Thankfully, I think it happened to be one of those ones where you hit request and it instantaneously gets approved because otherwise we'd be stuck here in limbo going, mm, I wonder where we're going tonight. But thankfully, so that I don't have to worry about that. Now I need to call the shop back and tell them that we're not going to be there today. And hopefully, I don't think it'll be a problem for them to keep it for one more night, but uh, let's just hope. Because if they tell me that I got to come pick it up, I don't really know what we're going to do. All right, let's go to our next oh. Airbnb. <laughs> I, I didn't think that was gonna be a problem, but like, you never know, right? The adventure continues. <laughs> it sure does. Okay, we made it to the next Airbnb place. Happy to have another spot to go since it's gonna take another day. I'm ready to be back in the RV. Yeah, I would, me I would too. love to have our home back, so we'll really be happy to get that back tomorrow. But in the meantime, again, like we said before, we're making the best of it. And we're gonna enjoy our night here. We are gonna give you a little tour and then we're gonna start on dinner. Yeah, there's nothing like breaking yourself into Airbnb with the, the first time you actually have a rental house and now we've had two. This <laughs> back one, to back, unexpectedly. <laughs> and this but, one is really different than the first one. We'll show you around. It is, here we go. Cute little kitchen, has all the amenities that we need. Big dining room table right into the living room. So a little living space here. And then we go down the creepy hallway. The long, dark <laughs> hallway. That has no lights. The lights on this end don't work. The lights on that end don't work. So, I, I still think there's some way to do it. it. We just haven't figured it out. It's not creepy at all. It's not creepy at all. One bedroom. On to the next bedroom. I think the kids will share this room here. It's a large bed and a bathroom attached. Down the creepy hall. <laughs> go, go, go. Laundry room. <laughs> and then master bedroom off the entryway with a huge bed. All right, we'll try to do this more gracefully than I did last time. Ready? 
<laughs> Big bathroom with a tub, so the kids will have their nightly bath here. There's even a bathtub. The bathtub's oh, yeah. better than the other one. There's what? This. That? Cool. And that's it. It'll do for a night. It's really nice. And hopefully we'll get our RV tomorrow. <laughs> so we're going to sign off for the night tomorrow. We're going to take you along to the shop and Kevin will hopefully be telling you that everything looks wonderful, is fixed, we're moved back in. I hope so. Better than new. All right. See you tomorrow. Good night. Well, we just pulled up. There's a wheel still off the trailer in the bag, so. I guess Kevin's going to go in and find out what's going on, what we can expect. And we'll hold tight here. Wish me luck. Quick update, things are looking good. We were a little concerned when we first got here, but Kevin just stuck his head in the door and uh, said things are progressing. The welder had an emergency repair that he was away for when we first got here. He's putting the tire back on the rig, lowering it down off the jack that it's still on. Kevin is hooking up all the power and everything he had to unhook the other day. And then we should be able to hitch up and go. I guess we'll keep you updated. I think everything looks good. I got everything hooked back up. The, the fridge is hooked back up to the inverters and everything came back on just fine. The welds look great. It's sitting exactly the way it should. I think we're back in business. I'm gonna hitch up and go take care of things and then I think we can get out of here. Woohoo! Feels good to be rolling down the road again. We're on the move and our RV is hitched up. Coming along. Oh! Uh, Our home is here. Home sweet home. <laughs> now all we have to do is get it set up again. The plan is to take it to a campground, fill up on water. We can't get reservations there, so we are going to go boondock from there. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon, so we should have plenty of time to do all that, get set up before dark, unlike yesterday would have been. I'm feeling good about the decision we made to get an Airbnb another night, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, so it all it all worked out. We're grateful. We found the issue. We got it taken care of. And we have our home again. Boy, it feels good to have it back now. Maybe not today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Kevin will show you what it looks like underneath, how that compares to what it was before, and why we think we can now confidently continue our travels. So after we left the shop, of course, it started to rain. It was definitely pretty muddy coming in. It's a good thing it stopped raining before we got here though. Yeah. Would have been worse if it had still been coming down. I'm just glad that we got parked without getting stuck because we've never gotten stuck before. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So I just got to put the slides out and we're back home. So we are going to get settled here. We will show you what it looks like underneath now that it's been repaired. Yeah. I and might, I might have to clean it off a little under there now, but it, I will <laughs> show you. We don't have spare water or boondock. <laughs> <laughs> so he might just get a muddy view. I don't yeah, know. Maybe. Either way, he'll, he'll point that out to you guys. And then we are going to check out the Sedona area just a little bit. We're going to do the Red Rock Scenic Byway. Yeah. Show you a little bit of the area. Stick around. So I did go under and film all of the repair stuff at the boondocking site in Sedona, but it was so muddy, you really couldn't see much of anything. So here we are a couple of weeks after the fact, and now I'm gonna show you what it looks like now that it's cleaned up a bit. This is the spring hanger that was broken and is now replaced and fixed as good as new, actually maybe even a little bit better because it's been reinforced with a stronger piece of steel right here next to it. Now everything has been re-welded all the way down reinforced, good as new. In fact, these supporting bars were actually removed so that they could go and re-weld all four corners. Everything's been working really well. We're hoping to get a lot more mileage out of it now, and we will definitely continue to check it every now and then, just to make sure everything is just fine.
Got that cut up? Yeah. Good morning. Kevin happened to open the shades and saw a hot air balloon right here. And it was spectacular. I'm glad we didn't miss it. We would have been really sad. And then we saw several more. So we decided to have our breakfast out here. And we've, we've caught a few more of them, uh, but they've mostly gone now. So we're just enjoying some of Kevin's homemade bread and a beautiful boondocking view. The hot air balloons seem to fly over the area each morning if the weather is good. Sometimes they were closer and other times further away, but it was always exciting to search for them. And it was one of the things that made this a unique boondocking area. Boondocking in the Sedona area is beautiful and plentiful, though very popular. We boondocked along Forest Road 525 and we're about halfway down the main stretch. The spots range from single pullouts off the road to larger areas for multiple rigs, all with beautiful views and space to relax or play. The Forest Road is a long stretch of many boondocking options, though closer to the front it can get quite crowded. Rigs seem to come and go each morning and each evening. In the other direction, the further down the road you go, the closer you are to the red rocks and the views get even better. And you're treated to gorgeous colors in the rocks and spectacular sunsets. You could just enjoy your time here, but you should definitely also check out more of what Sedona offers, such as the Red Rock Scenic Byway. This is a seven and a half mile road from I-17 leading into Sedona with amazing views and lots to stop and do. You might think the sights at the beginning are amazing, but it just gets better and better. Watch for the Red Rock Ranger Station and Visitor Center to stop for information and a view of what's to come. Watch for brown signs along the byway that point the way to scenic views, vistas, and hiking trailheads, including Bell Rock and Courthouse Butte and Cathedral Rock and more. In Sedona, check out the Chapel of the Holy Cross and the downtown with lots of galleries, the Talakipaki Arts and Crafts Village, and other shops, many varied tour companies, and tons of restaurants. Get some food or grab something to go. Find another place to get out to see the sunset or to have a dinner picnic to round out the day. So Red Rock Scenic Byway was just amazing. Yeah. It was gorgeous. Views everywhere, pull-offs, hiking trails, rock formations. I mean, we would just recommend you drive it and see what you feel like stopping and doing, doing a little hike, or just seeing it from the car. And then when you get into Sedona, so many restaurants, so many shops, so many things to do. It was super busy today. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> we ended up sitting in traffic for a long time. So very, very popular place, no doubt. We're not used to traffic anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. And now we're going to have dinner. Show them where we got our dinner from. We got dinner from the Hideaway House Pizza. Yum! Yeah. So we are about to dig into that. This place is worth checking out because not only do they have good food, but they overlook a beautiful view as well. We have our picnic blanket and we are in front of... Cathedral Rock in the background. We drove down here to Crescent Moon Ranch picnic area. Found a good spot on the grass out here with some pretty epic views behind us and here's dinner. So we hope you enjoyed the time with us in Sedona 
And now that we have our RV back, like we showed you, we are going to be moving on north to the Flagstaff area. Stay tuned to see what we get into there. Bye. Bye. If you like our content, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified the next time we release a travel video. See you soon. In our last video, we ended up having to take our RV in for some emergency repairs. If you haven't seen that one, go back and watch it so you be caught up. We ended up staying a couple of nights in an area. So you be caught up. So you be caught up. <laughs> Master bedroom, huge bed. Oh. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not very good at this. I'll try again. Yeah, one more time. Mama, what are you gonna do? You have to do it, but.